Maya Angelou passed away this week at the age of 86. She inspired so many with her searing prose and relentless spirit. ABC Susan Solney looks back. Maya Angelou was an American original. I will go. I shall go. I'll see what the end is going to be. A teacher, a poet. Give birth again to the dream. Women, children, men, take it into the palms of your hands. The true phenomenal woman, inspired, as she told us in her last interview with ABC News, by her mother. She is still very much with me. I, I have a photograph of her in my bathroom on the mirror. So each morning I go there to brush my teeth, I see her oh. smiling and looking at me and approving of me. Angelo told us how she managed to find hope, even in one of her darkest moments. You were out with a boyfriend. He turned on you and yes, kicked and punched, and you were almost dead. Yes, he beat me. How did you find the strength to overcome those sorts of things? First, I know that forgiveness is the greatest gift you can give yourself. It's not for the other person. You must forgive. It's for your own sake to rid yourself of that weight. Angelo led an astonishing life, stunning in its scope, from journalist to civil rights activist, author to actress, and more. Some of us are surprised to know that you were a calypso singer and a dancer. Very famous one. Yes, too. absolutely. <laughs> as far as that goes. Miss Calypso herself, Maya Angelou. Can you give us a sample of one of your favorite songs from those days? Favorite songs? Yes, we'd love to hear. Mo and Joe run the candy store, telling fortunes behind the door. The cops grabbed Mo and as Joe ran out, brother Mo he began to shout. Run Joe, hey the man at the door, run Joe, the man he won't let me go. Run Joe, run Joe as fast as you can, run Joe. The police holding me high. Oh, what a treat! I haven't thought um, of that song in 200 years. 200 years. Good <laughs> Lord. But you hit every note. <laughs> it's, it's, it's still inside. It's there. Nothing is lost. And for that, we are so thankful. For this week, Susan Solney, ABC News, Washington. That was a treat in Maya Angelou, a giant. And now we honor our fellow Americans who serve and sacrifice. This week, the Pentagon released the name of one soldier killed in Afghanistan. And that is all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow on GMA.